Good morning everyone and today we are going to learn how to factorize a quadratic. A quadratic has the form ax squared plus bx plus c and when you factorize you are going to put them into bracket because the power is a squared you have two brackets okay so we are going to do two types of example the first one is when a equals to one so there'll be x squared plus another number this is called a monic factorizing and the second thing the second type of example we're going to do when a is not equals to one a could be any number more than one and it's called the non monic factorizing good we shall look at some example now the first one is when you have factorized x squared plus 5x plus 6 this is a monic example because the factor in front of x the coefficient is one so this is very simple the first thing we're going to do is call the bubble method so the bubble method you're going to put the bubble around the numbers so with the, the first bubble is x squared and the second bubble is 6 okay so what we're going to do we are going to find the factors of 6 so 6 can made up of a different kind so the first 6 is possibly plus 1 and plus 6 multiply them 1 times 6 is 6 the other option is the opposite minus 1 and minus 6 will also give you multiply them together you still get 6 the third option is 2 plus 2 multiplied by plus 3 that will also give you 6 and the last option is the opposite minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 okay so all these three four factors will multiply to give you 6 now the next step you want to get the middle number here plus 5x okay so what you do you're going to plus this number okay so when you plus the number okay so 6 plus 1 will give you 7 minus 1 plus minus 6 is minus 7 2 plus 3 is going to be 5 and minus 2 times minus plus minus 3 is minus 5 so you have to look for the one that is in the middle this is 5 so this is the one you're going to look for okay so the equation is just very simple you just put x this is plus 2 we're going to have x plus 2 and the other one will be x plus 3 and that will give you the factorized version of the quadratic equation okay we shall do one more example for a morning example so the next one looks the same this time you look at the number 3 what are the possible number for 3 there's only two options minus 3 it could be 1 times minus 3 plus 1 times minus 3 or it could be the other option is minus 1 plus 3 when you multiply them together 1 times minus 3 is minus 3 minus 1 times 3 is 3 so now the next step you should know by now you're going to add them up so you're going to add them up so 1 plus negative 3, the answer is going to be negative 2. And minus 1 plus 3 is going to be positive 2. So what you have in the middle is minus 2x. So if you need to get a minus 2, so this is the correct answer. So you're just going to put the bracket such that x plus 1, x minus 3. And that is how you factorize this equation. That is for the morning example. Good. Now we are going to do the non monic example. The non monic example happens when your the first number with the x squared is not a 1, so it's a 2. Okay, this is similar but the additional step. So, for the first step you do, you're going to multiply the number here and that. So, that will give you 6. 2 multiplied by 3 will give you 6. So, there are four possible outcomes to get the factors of 6. So 6 could be 1 plus 1 and plus 6. It could also be minus 1 and minus 6. It could also be 2 and 3 or it could be minus 2 and minus 3. Then the next step we're going to do, we are going to add them up. Okay. So when you add them up, the answer is going to be 7. 1 plus 6 is 7. 
this will be minus 7, this is going to be 5, and that's going to be minus 5. Again, we are looking at the middle number. The middle number is plus 7x. So in this case, this one is the answer. Okay. So what we do now is slightly different. We're going to put 2x squared. The first digit 2x squared is still remain, and the plus 3 will be remain. What we're going to do, we're going to break the 7x into these two numbers, plus 1x, plus 6x. Okay, so that is what we do. We're going to split the 7x into 1x and 6x. The next thing we do, we are going to factorize the first two digits and factorize the second two digits. Okay, to factorize this, the common factor is x. When you have an x, you are left with 2x plus 1. And on that side, the common factor is 3. And you are left with 2x plus 1. Now you look closely. The 2x plus 1 are the common factor. So what you do, you're going to take out 2x plus 1 as a common factor. And then taking out what's left is going to be x, what's left, plus 3. And that is how you factorize a non monic expression. And the last example, we are going to do the same thing, but with a minus sign. Okay, so now, again, the first thing you do, you're going to multiply the 2 and the negative 2. The answer is going to be negative 4, and you are going to find the factors of negative 4. So negative 4 could be 1 plus 1 and plus 4. It could also, sorry, plus 1 and negative 4. It could also be negative 1 and positive 4. It could also be 2 and negative 2. Or it could also be negative 2 plus 2. So the next step, you're going to add them up. Add the two numbers together. So what you get is going to be negative 3. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. This is going to be positive 3, that is going to be 0, and that will also be 0. So now, you want to get the middle value. The middle value is plus 3x, so you have to use this expression. So you're going to split 3x into, so 2x squared remain. So minus x plus 4x, you're going to split the 3x to plus 4x minus x, and minus 2 remain. Now, the next step, you are going to factorize the first two and the last two. The common factors for that will be x, and you are left with 2x minus 1. And on this side, you're going to be 2, you're going to be 2x minus 1. So now, if you can see, 2x minus 1 is a common factor. So we're going to put 2x minus 1 out. And then what's left is x plus 2. And that is how you factorize a non monic expression. Hope you got something out of this and keep practicing and excel in algebra. Thank you.